Welcome back to the channel. I know you clicked on this video because you're looking to hook up multiple monitors to your new MacBook, whether that's an M1, an M2, M3, M4, whatever the case may be, or even if it's an older Intel laptop, you wanna have multiple monitors and you're having a little bit of trouble. If that sounds like you, well, you've come to the right place. My name is J.I. I make videos on the technology in our lives and how we can use it to make our lives easier. Now, a lot of my previous videos on the channel actually go through hooking up multiple monitors to your MacBook using one cable. That's how a clean, minimal desk setup should be. It shouldn't have multiple cables running into your MacBook and having to unplug them and replug them back in. That just doesn't make sense. Now, because of the way that Apple designed these MacBooks, Plugging in multiple monitors through one cable is a little bit difficult. I'm not a fan of what they've done, but my channel is known for finding docks that you can use to be able to hook up one cable to your MacBook and run multiple monitors. A lot of my previous docks actually help you run up to four monitors and companies usually send their docks for me to just try out and see if it actually works. The latest one that I have here is from Setachi. And I gotta say, from all of the previous docs that I've reviewed before, this one is my favorite. Now, why is that? Well, all of the other docs that I've reviewed before, they run four monitors at 4K just fine. Some of them do 8K as well too. But the one thing that really distinguishes this from the rest is that you don't have to compromise. For example, one of the docs I reviewed, you have a lot of ports, but you're compromising the design aesthetics. Another doc, looks great, but also doesn't have that many ports or it's missing some things like an SD card slot. I am so pleased to tell you that this is my favorite dock so far and I don't really have to compromise anything. It looks beautiful. It's just one slab like that. It's very thin and minimal too, just how I like it. The best thing is that it doesn't compromise any ports and you can run up to four 4K monitors on this dock. You can also run one 8K single monitor if you so choose. Now, this dock is actually gonna go to my wife and I'm gonna be hooking it up today in her office so that she can have her MacBook with one cable. I already have a Tobin One dock hooked up to my setup and it's running just fine but this one will look really good at her desk where she likes to keep everything minimal. So let's just talk technical specs real quick here. You can run up to four monitors at 4K 60 Hertz, two of them using your HDMI ports and then two running on the Thunderbolt ports that are available. If you want to run one 8K monitor, you'll be using one of the Thunderbolt ports and you'll be getting 8K at 60 Hertz. Now keep in mind, you can only run either the four monitors or the one 8K monitor. The one thing I should also mention is that you do have to use the display link driver that all the other docks that I've reviewed use as well. It's just the way that these MacBooks are designed by Apple. For some reason, they don't want you running multiple monitors off of one Thunderbolt port. It's kind of ridiculous, especially for a company that prides themselves on minimalism and simplicity. They really dropped the ball here. Suffice to say, installing the display link driver is super easy, and I've also included a link to the driver itself down in my description below. That's all you really need to get these monitors running. The great thing about this dock is that it supplies 96 watts of power, so you can juice up your phone and your laptop at the same time. So let me tell you what the dock actually has port wise before we go ahead and hook it up. On the side, we have one Thunderbolt 4 upstream port. This is to hook it up straight to your MacBook. On the back, we have three Thunderbolt 4 downstream ports. I'm probably gonna hook up a USB hub so that I can expand this a little bit for my wife's setup. And of course we have the two HDMI ports for hooking up your monitors at 4K 60 Hertz. If you wanted to hook up two more, you can use two of these Thunderbolt ports for that, leaving one available. We also have a gigabit ethernet port and of course, the power supply port with a giant brick of a power supply, which you'll probably see in a bit. On the front, we have a headphone jack. We also have an SD card reader and then two USB 3.2 ports. And we have an LED light there to indicate that the dock is powered as well as the power button. We don't have to compromise much on ports because we have plenty of them and you can also expand them using a Thunderbolt or a USB-C hub. So why don't we go ahead and hook this up into my wife's setup and I'll show you exactly what it looks like and how it functions so that you yourself can do this with your own MacBook. So here we are in my wife's office. This is the setup that we're gonna be changing today. Now you can see that she has two monitors already. They're not 4K monitors though. The purpose of this video is to 
kind of demonstrate that you can actually use multiple monitors. They're 1080p, but it's completely fine. You can use 4K monitors at 60 hertz with this dock. We're gonna outfit this entire office setup. We're gonna change everything here. As you can see, the cables are all over the place. Um, it's kind of a mess and it's not the best setup at the moment, but we're going to transform that with the Satachi dock. The setup she has at the moment is just this basic dock. It's not a display link dock at all. So she does have to plug in both this HDMI separately. Um, and then she has to plug in the dock itself, uh, which is hooked up to another HDMI monitor. And that's kind of messy. It's just a setup that is not ideal. It's not simplistic. Um, we want to be able to, at the end of this all, the goal is to just have her hook up one cable to her laptop and everything will run from there. All right, so here's the finished product. We have two monitors here. We have the dock all hooked up nice and clean. Uh, it's as clean as I can get it in terms of having all the cables and everything um, organized. All the cables are in the back there. You could go one step further by even putting the dock under the table, which I considered at some point. But for this instance, in this scenario, I don't think we're gonna do that. We're just gonna have it here at the top so that it's easily accessible. Um, that these ports as well too are easily accessible. And I actually used one of the Thunderbolt ports on the back to hook up to a USB hub. Uh, it's a USB-C hub and it has extra ports on the bottom there so that we can clean everything up. Uh, we can keep it all under the desk. And one of those USB plugs goes into the monitor light right there. So everything's kind of there. It's organized as well as it should be. And we just have one cable right here that should plug right into the MacBook. So let's go ahead and try this out. All right, so here we are. I have my MacBook. This is my own MacBook. I already have DisplayLink installed on this MacBook, but if you don't have DisplayLink, you do need that. So make sure to check the description down below. I will link to the driver itself that you need. And it's just one driver. That's all you need to be able to have all of your monitors. And DisplayLink is actually created by Synaptics. They're a very reputable company. So you don't have to worry about having something like bloatware or anything like that installed. It's just that driver runs in the background and you'll actually see how it looks like uh, when I hook up the monitors. So I have my one cable right here. I'm gonna hook it up for the first time to this setup. And that essentially just means that it's charging. Uh, I can see that it's charging now. And this monitor is coming to life as well as this one. I'm gonna arrange the displays myself in settings. So if you go down to displays, um, you can see that the monitors are showing as separate monitors. And when I go to arrange, um, I'm just going to move this guy right over here and then move this guy right over here, just as how it shows physically. And now when I go ahead and give that new configuration, I can pretty much drag my windows to any screen. And I have all of my monitors here. Uh, they look fantastic. You can tweak it to how you like uh, yourself, but essentially 4K on all of your monitors and that's not a problem at all. Now in all my previous videos, people have commented and I personally have seen as well too, that you can't actually play copyright protected content on the multiple monitors when screen recording is enabled. The way that Synaptics works is the display link driver actually um, utilizes screen recording uh, in a way where it can put these images on other monitors. And because of Apple and their walled garden, I don't know why they do this, but 
the way that it's set up is screen recording needs to be enabled in order for your duplication of monitors to work properly. I did find a workaround where you can actually watch Netflix and all of those, even with the dock plugged in. All you need to do is just disable hardware acceleration within Chrome, and that will enable Netflix to be played. So right here, I have the dock hooked up, as you can see, and I'm gonna just play this. And you can see that I can move it to any of these monitors and it plays perfectly fine. So that's a way to get around it. Um, obviously, if you don't want to disable hardware acceleration, it doesn't really affect your computer in any way. Most people will not notice that. So if you don't wanna do that, then all you gotta do is just unplug the dock itself. But if you wanna just disable hardware acceleration, you can have Netflix, you can have all your other content and your videos playing on any screen. Now that's pretty much it for this review. My wife has been using the dock for a couple weeks now and she's had no issues, she's loving it. And now she only needs to just plug in that one Thunderbolt cable, have everything up there and running, and then she can unplug it when she needs to leave. And that was so much better than having cables all over the place like our previous setup. If you're looking for this dock, go ahead and check the description down below. I've included a link to the best price on Amazon and also using that link will help me make better content for you guys like all of the dock videos that I've done so far. If you're looking for any of the other docs that I've reviewed, I've actually added a playlist in the description as well with all of the reviews that I've done so far on docs that are compatible with the MacBook. If you have any questions about anything, leave a comment in this video and I'll do my best to help you out. My name is J.I., thank you for watching and thank you for kicking it with me.